Close your eyes and watch your breath. See what the breath is doing right now. Is it coming in? Is it going out? When it comes in, does it feel good? Does it feel good going out? If it feels good, keep up this rhythm of breathing. If it doesn't feel good, you can change. You want to stay on top of things in the present moment. And the breath is a good way of anchoring you here. When you're with the breath, you know you're in the present. You lose the breath, you could start wandering off to the past, wandering off to the future, and not really know for sure that that's what's happened. But when you stay with the breath, you've got to be here in the present moment, because there's no past breath to watch, no future breath to watch. Just this breath right here, right now. And when you're anchored in the present moment like this, then you can see what's going on in your mind. Because that's the important thing. The breath doesn't take us to heaven or hell, but the mind can take us to heaven or hell. And where does it do it? Well, it can do it right here. Past decisions have already been made. You can't go back and change them. Future decisions haven't been made yet, but by working on the present moment, you take care of the present moment and you create good conditions for the future. So try to stay as much right here as you can and focus on your intentions. Other people may be doing other things right now, but the current events you really need to know are the ones that are going on in your mind right here. When greed comes up, you want to know, and you want to know early on. Don't wait until it's full-blown. Catch it with the little hints that the mind gives to itself, because the mind likes to whisper it to itself, because it likes to lie to itself. Maybe it knows that a certain way of thinking is not good, but it wants to do it anyhow. So it goes underground. The decisions go underground. And if you're not really observant, you miss them. And you see these things only when they burst out, fully blown, fully grown. When you realize that the mind can lie to itself like this, then you start wondering about current events that you get from outside. Who are these people who are feeding you these current events? What's their purpose? What do they want out of you? You don't know. And when you can lie to yourself, what's to keep them from lying to you? So the really important current events are the decisions you're making right here, right now. The media tell you that the important decisions are made by someone else, someplace else. And you're just an audience watching the important things that other people are doing, which is the opposite of the Buddha's message. You're shaping your experience right here through your actions. So you want to be on top of what you're doing right now to make sure it goes in the right direction. And that's an area where you are responsible. You can't be responsible for other people's actions, but you have to be responsible for your own. So there's the power of your actions right here, but there's also responsibility. The two go together. So try to be responsible in your search for happiness. We all want happiness, but we do so many unskillful things that take our happiness away. So we should learn how to get some control over the mind so that it's not a traitor to itself, that it knows what it's doing and knows that it's doing things that are right. That kind of news is good. As someone once said, if you don't like the news, go out and make some of your own. Well, you don't have to go out to make the news. Just stay right here. Make sure the news of your mind is that greed has been conquered, anger has been conquered, delusion has been conquered. You may not have conquered them once, for, and, once and for all, but at least each time they come up, make sure that you don't give in. That kind of victory is really worthwhile. When you gain victory over other people, the Buddha says there's a lot of karma. But when you gain victory over yourself, there's a lot of good karma there. And that's the victory that really counts.